Hello, and welcome, to all my Mariner friends. Let's discuss today's SWA Convention. International Convention for the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Against the Safety of Maritime Navigation, 1988. Followed by the Protocol for the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Against the Safety of Fixed Platforms Located on the Continental Shelf, 2005. Key Points SWA Convention deals with criminal issues and is like a criminal law. To whom the law applies? What are the area of jurisdiction of the states? What actions are offensive? What are the punishment for each defined offense? To whom SWA Convention applies? The Convention applies to all ships, navigating in high seas, Article 2 of SWA Convention defines the applicability of the Convention of Defining Ships, for which the Convention does not apply. SWA Convention does not apply to a ship, which has withdrawn from navigation, or laid up, a warship, and a ship owned, or operated by a state, where being used by naval auxiliaries, or customs, or purpose of police. Jurisdiction of state is per SWA Convention. Somalia pirates boarded the vessels, in the high seas away from territorial waters. Can any state act against the pirates, when arrested, and the answer is no. Only two states, which have ratified the convention, and inserted the convention in their law, Article 6 of SWA Convention asked the states to define its jurisdiction, if the offense is committed against, or on board a ship flying its flag. The offence is committed in territory of the state, the offence is committed by nation of the state. In the Captain Philip movie, the one pirate is arrested, and taken to United States court. He cried, and said he was hungry, and had no money. He was not an adult, so he will be tried later this year. He said I haven't broken any law, boarding a vessel, and snatching money is my job. Court cannot punish him because he has not broken any law, because there is no law for this, either internationally or locally. If there is some local law, it must be brought together with the International Convention, for the issue of crime against ships. SWA Convention is the framework, that binds the local law of the country, that has ratified it. SWA Convention is not a law, it is same as any other convention, it becomes a law when the country that ratified the convention, includes the provision of the convention, in their local laws of the country. Punishment for the offense. Article 3, states that the country who ratified SWA convention needs to include these offenses in the country local law. Define the punishment for each of the offenses. SWA convention requires the state to define the punishment, for each type of offense. SWA Convention requires the state to make the offense punishable. This means that, if the country addresses to ratify the SWA Convention, they cannot let the offenders go away, without any punishment. As per Article 5, of SWA Convention, each state party shall make the offense set forth in Article 3, punishable by appropriate penalties, which consider the grave nature of those offenses. SWA Protocol, and 2005 SWA Protocol. SWA Protocol was introduced at the same time of, SWA Convention. The SWA Protocol is a supplement to SWA Convention. The only difference between them is, SWA Protocol deals with safety of fixed platforms. The 2005, Protocol adds provisions, which criminalize the use of ships, to transfer or discharge biological, chemical, or nuclear weapons. This means, that ships getting biological, chemical or maybe weapons are an offense. However, SWA Convention allows the carriage of nuclear weapons, under the control of a state that is party to the treaty, on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Now examiner, for orals may ask you. How does SWA help the world? You should start saying like this world and its country have scattered laws, punishing a pirate, or a criminal who has committed a crime, on a ship in the high seas, is very difficult. SWA Convention has brought uniformity in the law of affected countries. 
the Assembly adopted Resolution 584, measured to prevent unlawful acts, which threaten the safety of ships, and security of passengers, and crew. In November 1986, the government of Austria, Egypt and Italy proposed that IMO prepare a convention about crime at sea. Conference held on revision of SWA Treaty, held from 10th to the 14th of October 2005. Article 8, covers responsibility and role of the master of the ship's flag state, and receiving state in handing over the suspected criminal, to the authorities, and also furnishing the evidence to the crime, or offence done by him. Article 11, covers extradition procedure, and Article 11b, states that none of the options should be considered, for the purpose of extradition as a political offence. Article 12, requires state parties to afford one another assistance, in connection with criminal proceedings brought in respect of the offence. Next question, as per SWA Convention, what is offence? Any person commits an offence, if that person unlawfully, and intentionally performs an act of violence, against a person on board a ship, if that act is likely to endanger the safe navigation of that ship, destroys a ship or causes damage to a ship, or to its cargo which is likely to endanger the safe navigation of ship, or places something on a ship, by any means whatsoever, a device or substance which is likely to destroy that ship, or cause damage to that ship, or its cargo which endangers, or is likely to endanger the safe navigation of that ship, or destroys, or seriously damages maritime navigational facilities, or seriously interferes with their operation, if any such act is likely to endanger the safe navigation of a ship, or communicates information which he knows to be false, thereby endangering the safe navigation of a ship, or injures, or kills any person. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be adding more videos, feel free to ask more questions in comment box.